A first, whether it's how to get smoky eyes or mastering a full-on flick, eyeliner is the one makeup technique that so many of us struggle with. It is quite tricky to get it right, but Briny knows how to do it. You always have lovely eyeliner. I do love an eyeliner, yeah. I'm not going to lie, and that really upsets me when people go, I can't do it, so I won't do it. It's like I can do one eye, then I can't do the other eye, and sometimes my hand shakes. All my mm. eyelid flickers sometimes, yes. I get nervous, lid. then my eye starts doing yeah. this. <laughs> A lot, again, there's lots of issues, but don't worry, I've got tips. OK. OK, so let's start off with the lovely Terry. Now, the Hello, one Terry. thing Hi. that I really want to start off with, if you're going to use an eyeliner, it's so important to prep your eye first. Is it? Yes. No one's ever told me that. It's well, like decorating, like <laughs> sanding down. And... Well, it sounds bad because a lot of people get transfer. Now, Terry was saying to me, it always transfers, so I can't be bothered to do eyeliner. Transfers as in... As in, you... you get that little smudgy line at the top of your eyelid. Yes. Because a lot of people have oily lids. So it's really important to use an eyeshadow primer. So even if you're not using eyeshadow, this is brilliant. This is from Guerlain. Lovely, lovely primer. Now, you only need a tiny, tiny amount, like a tiny pea-size amount, OK? So even a pea. I know, it's not. It's, it's like, like a dot. It's a dot. So I'm literally just going to take this over your lid. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to make sure that any oil on the lid is just going to go away, straight away, and you're taking away any oil. And the one thing that Terry was doing was putting her moisturiser all over her face, including on top of her eyes. <laughs> Well, so, of course, she's going to have a bit of moisture around her eyes. <laughs> um, the other thing is just to make it set in place. This is just a plain, plain translucent powder. Just go over the top, OK? So you've literally... You're prepping your eye. Had anybody Done. told you about eye primers? No. 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 It really helps. I cannot tell you how many people I've told about that. And they're like, oh, my God, it just doesn't transfer anymore. It's brilliant. <coughs> the <coughs> other thing me. is, these are gel liners. Now, very, very different textures and things like that. This one here is from Trish McAvoy. This is the one I'm going to be using. And this is also... I thought gels were in a pot. Yes. They've now changed the formulas. Like, obviously, you can still get them in pots. But the one thing I'd say is, if you're going to use a pencil, really try it first. This one's from W7. It's a nice texture when you put it on, but it's a little bit heavier, as in it drags a little bit. Mm. Whereas this one, you literally just touch your hand and it transfers straight away oh, with yeah, a lot of soft. pigment. So this is the one I'm going to use. Because if they're hard, they kind of drag your eyelid a bit and they hurt. Yes, yeah. And if you're yeah. worried about any kind of skin on the eyelid, again, that's going to drag it. Whereas this is so soft and simple. Now, the other thing I just wanted to show you is take your mirror when you're doing your eyeliner. A Yours lot of women... Yours is gorgeous today. Thank you. It did take four hours. <laughs> Um, the other thing is, don't go in like this. If you go in and you need to get close to a mirror, you're going to bash the mirror. Always use your pencil to the side, OK? So you can get as close to your mirror as you want, and you can do it this way, and then if you're doing the other eye, do this way, OK? And so did you say to me, look down into the also mirror. look down i always do my eyeliner i hate either. looking down into a mirror it's oh, not pretty no. is it it's it a isn't. hideous no, angle not anymore. Oh, horrible oh. it really <laughs> helps <laughs> with your eyeliner so literally either put your head back mm -hmm. or put your mirror underneath you okay right. so those are your techniques for when you're doing it at home the other thing is if you just close your eyes for me do a dot technique so take it from the middle of your eye and literally, the, the line is on its side, as you yeah. can see, and I'm just simply going all the way along. So you're kind of doing a dot to dot. Doesn't matter if it doesn't join up straight right. away, you're just doing your dots. Really make sure it's right on the root. So don't of always the lash. just try to do one line. Never works. That's quite hard. Exactly. Isn't it? And then with this, you can just join it up. And the lovely thing about this one, I've used charcoal. This one's called charcoal. It's a kind of bluey grey. Mm. This is really flattering. You don't always have to go for black because it can nice, be a bit harsh. Yeah. But I promise you, this pigment comes out so quickly, you don't need that much. And then with the smudger, if you are a bit like, oh, I've done a bit of a I mistake. do like these pencils. I've got a brown one that's got the smudger on the other end, so you're not smudger. looking for another, you know, kind of implement. No, exactly. But also, if you haven't got anything else and you're in a hurry, this is brilliant, because this just gives you such a lovely look. And it doesn't matter if you've got wobbly hands, because it just works really nicely. But it doesn't transfer, and this will last all day. Once this is smudged... You're done, you're set. Just open for me. It just gives it a really lovely Very nice. look. Did it feel nice? It felt it soft. It did, it yeah. did, yeah. Looks like yeah. It makes your eyes look really blue. Thank you. Well, the lovely blue eyes, don't you? Yeah. Really it's a gorgeous blue. colour. Like, experiment with colours a little bit. It doesn't yeah. just have to be brown, but I just think it really helps. And as I said, it's so quick.